Welcome to another episode of Real Talk No Filter. I'm your host, Chen Tal Phoenix. I'm with my good friend, Rob. We'll be talking about a bunch of topics, but um, we'll go from COVID to what's happening in India. And uh, it's going to be a fun show, but a very interesting show as well that will lead people to understand, again, the impact of COVID, not just in Canada, but main question, um, how is COVID and how you've been dealing with it so far? COVID sucks. <laughs> I, I don't want to be able to go to a bar, get a drink, and just sit down. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure everyone that listens to this, or majority of people, uh, fully agrees with, agree with you on that. Yeah. Like, yeah, I've always kind of been the type to, you know, just kind of chill at home. But I can't even do that, you know. Like, now I'm, like, forced to sit at home. Like, what the hell? <laughs> That's what... <laughs> <laughs> very limited as they were, but you're absolutely right. Uh, yeah, it it yeah, sucks. It's been shitty. I mean, exactly. You know, the whole thing started last March. You know, got laid off for like two and a half months. Oh shit, that sucks. Right. You know, I mean, I got paid eventually, mm-hmm. but it went through really high. Mm-hmm. You know, and then. Coming back to work, you know, we had all the policies come in, so it was fine. Which, you know, it's comfortable to be at work, right? Yeah, yeah. We we do all our precautions, you know, sanitize everything, whatever, right? Yeah. How I was? Just, I know a lockdown, man. Yeah, I really am. Oh, I think a lot of people, a lot of people are, and especially I'm, I'm tired of it as well. Um, you mentioned as well that different protocols at work. Um, what kind of protocols are you doing at work? Are you doing like the mask and shield, or just like a mask? So we're allowed to have an option of mask and shield, but mm. uh, most of us have pretty much just put the mask. Okay. Right? Yeah. Uh, gloves are an option too. Right? Okay. Um, but we don't really have direct contact with customers. Like, yes, I do see the customer in front of me, but when they hand me keys, uh, it usually goes in a plastic bag, mm-hmm. like a black bag. So we're not really touching their keys. You know, every time we hand them their keys, it's always sanitized. The vehicles, you know, we always sanitize all our desks after every uh, few hours. You know what I mean? Like, like we take all the necessary precautions. You know, so so far we've been good. Okay, that's good. We haven't had anything serious happen, so it's mm-hmm. good. Um, with all that being said, uh, in all honesty, do you think or do you feel that after COVID, that you personally will take those same measures? Um, as in those extra hand sanitizer, wearing the gloves, wearing the mask everywhere else. After, I, I assume you're getting the vaccine, uh, vaccine, correct? Yeah, I'm going uh, this Saturday, the mm-hmm. 22nd. Okay. I'll get my shot, my first one. Mm-hmm. And then September, I'll get my second one. So. Okay, that's good, though. That's good. Yeah. Um, so talking about the vaccine, though, um, I know we kind of banned AstraZeneca, <laughs> which... I a think, bit. <laughs> <laughs> which really sucks. Uh, are you in favor of one or the the other, as in either Pfizer or Moderna? I think they both work the same. Like I know people who've taken Pfizer. I know people who've taken Moderna, and they've been fine. You know, mm-hmm. so everyone re- will react differently, right? Some people will have a reaction. Some people won't, right? And it's just like it's like a flu shot, right? Some people feel fine. Some get like a you know, a couple of the symptoms, like, I think the main ones were, like, maybe, like, getting the chills and maybe a slight fever, but that's about it. Like, yeah, that's, I'm not really concerned. That's true. That's that's fair as well. I'm yeah. talking about COVID and, and, and everything like that. Seeing that you are Indian and everything that's going on in India, um, it must be very painful to watch and hear to see what's going on in India for you. Yeah, like... I have family in India, right? And to see what those people are going through, like, it is messed up. Like, it already they were in a kind of a bad situation, you know, like, there's lots of poverty there too, right? Mm-hmm. And then, you know, those people aren't going to get any help, right? And right now, they, they were uh, about 400,000 cases mm-hmm. recorded. That's daily kind of terrifying those numbers yeah it's just the people are getting sick you know there's not enough beds in the hospitals not enough oxygen uh there's a um, uh, a shortage of getting oxygen to the hospital there's one hospital in delhi mm-hmm. uh, 12 people died in that hospital 
including one doctor. Oh, wow. Great. It's messed up. Like, they're in a shit situation. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like, and I was reading an article that, you know, trying to figure out what exactly was the issue with oxygen being shortage. Mm -hmm. So I think they're, what I was reading was what I understood from it was more of logistics. Mm -hmm. So they can't get it to the hospitals fast enough. Right. So then the government was trying to like get trains out to send out the oxygen tanks, stuff like that. So I don't know. This, this is what I just see in the media, right? Yeah. And from what I hear from people I know, it's just, it's, uh, it's not a good situation to be in right now. No, exactly. Um, so, it's not a good place to be in right now either. <laughs> yeah. There. Um, so saying all that, in all honesty, would you travel back to India anytime soon? Or would you wait a few years before you go back seeing the situation that's in right now? <laughs> I ain't going back right now. <laughs> well, right now they have the travel ban, right? So yes. No one can go to go to India or come out of there right now. But, I mean, I would probably wait a few years, mm -hmm. if I'm being honest. If I have the option to stay, you know, out of India for a few more years... I would like to take that route because that way, you know, there's a little bit of assurance that the safeguards are in place that, you know, hoping that we're still not going to be in this, you know, COVID situation mm -hmm. like anywhere around the world. You know, I mean, I would like to go back eventually. But, yeah. Yeah. But no, I'm not in a rush to go anytime soon. <laughs> um, you mentioned something about the travel ban. Um, how did you feel about that um, when they first announced it? I feel like they sh it's been like, finally, what took you so long to do it? Yeah, yeah. I'm not talking about India in general. You should, our government should have stopped all traveling, period. Mm -hmm. Right? Because you know why we were, were in this situation? It's because our government, now, I hate going into politics. Yes, yeah, right? so <laughs> I didn't dabble in it very little. Okay, so he should have shut down everything from the start. When mm -hmm. this shit happened last March, you know what? Okay, this is this a situation? Let's travel all the flight. Let's ban all the traveling, right? From uh, other countries. Shut it down. You know, um, don't cross the border. Nothing. And for whatever, a month, two months, everyone stay indoors. Mm -hmm. Period. And I guarantee you, we wouldn't be in this mess. I agree. But the, but the fact that you're like, oh, we're gonna close Branton. We're gonna leave York open. You know, mm -hmm. uh, or whatever, close, uh, close to, you know, Niagara, but we're going to leave everything else open. It's foolishness because people have a natural, you know, it's already in human nature to be like, okay, fuck it. We'll go somewhere where it's not fucking locked down. <laughs> right? <true>. Yeah. <laughs> and then everyone did it because everyone got bored and they're like, fuck it. I'm going to go to another city and walk around. Exactly. Look at Von Mills. Yep. Look at Von Mills. Von Mills wasn't closed for the longest time. Mm-hmm. So they shut down Bramley, everyone went to Bond Mills. Yep, yep. It was like line up there for hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, how does this solve anything? Yeah, yeah. I'm guilty of it too, don't get me wrong. Oh, I think every, I, everybody was guilty yeah. of that. <laughs> it's like, shit, I needed something. I went to the ball. Yeah. Know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, you but, mean, yeah. yeah it's, it's stupid. Like, he sh this should have been done. A long time ago. Now we're into our third bloody lockdown. It's like, mm -hmm. come on. <laughs> and I was going to extend it another two weeks, which I called it. I was like, he's going to cancel May 2 for a weekend. I'm like, just wait. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what happened. <laughs> he didn't do it all. Uh, he didn't say it before because he already got in shit from everyone else. That's true. That's very true. From the, from the, the third lockdown. So he was waiting for it. Now he casually like, yeah. We're going to shut down for another two weeks. You know, onto politics. Um, but one thing that, again, going back to India, um, the whole protest that's happening there, uh, the no farmers, no food. Um, a lot of people are saying that, again, it's part of the politician over there. But besides the politician, what is exactly, what, does, what do they mean by no farmers, no food? So the prime minister signed off on new laws, mm -hmm. right? Which... I'm going to try and simplify it as much as I can. So it basically cuts out the middleman, mm -hmm. okay? So it used to be before that the farmers could sell at a fixed price to, uh, 
they wouldn't sell it to corporations, right? Mm-hmm. They would go through a government funded place, mm-hmm. but they got paid whatever the price was, right? So the problem is with this new bill that kind of takes away the middlemen, and now it's the farmers will directly deal with corporations, uh, right? And then they'll have to, you know, buy into their contracts, and they're not going to be promised whatever their fixed rate was. Mm. When they went through the government, they had a guarantee of, okay, I'm going to pay this much for a bag of corn, and that's the price. Mm. Doesn't matter. The problem is if you go through the corporations, they're going to lowball them, right? Yeah. yeah. So, and there's no guarantee that, oh, that they're going to keep that promise, which they won't, right? Big box corporations, they, they always want the lowest price, right? Mm. And that's the problem, right? It's good for the government because they kind of wash their hands of it, right? That's true. But bad for the farmers because they're starving them, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, it's it's that's why the protests are there. You know, they, you know, that's their livelihood that you're messing with. You know, you know, and a lot of their agriculture is the farming, especially in the northern part of India, right? Like, you don't have the farmers, then what? That's true. They're in, they're in, they're in need even debt. They're they're already make next to nothing with already with the uh, before the laws were passed. Like they were barely making any uh, my, uh, making anything to survive, right? And now you're going to completely cut them off. That's the way the numbers of farmers you know committing suicide increase too because mm. they're just they can't take the pressure, right? It's a it's a sad situation. Yeah, and really they got them protesting for months. You know, their prime minister doesn't want anything to do with it. Mm-hmm. Right? He's just trying to just basically wash his hands of it. You know, and then you got the pandemic on top of it. Mm-hmm. It's bad for them, man. It's, uh, it's a big problem. Yeah, yeah. The bills are favoring the big corporations and the businesses, right? Mm-hmm. And it takes away from the farmers. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's no good. <laughs> I, yeah. just, I don't know how many times they say it. Like, it's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel like they'll, there's an end in sight, or do you think this will be a, a long-term um, protest? Well, they started, what, November? Yeah. We're in May. Mm. So I don't think it's going to ease up anytime soon. Mm-hmm. You know, which is sad, you know, because, like, that guy's got another three years in office, the prime minister. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. It's going to happen. It's definitely concerning. Thank you so much, uh, Rob, for coming on my channel and bringing awareness to... You're welcome. Um, not just COVID, the, how you've been dealing with it, but also shining a light on what's happening in your home country as well. Uh, so thank you for coming on my show. And for sure, we'll have more and more um, podcasting with you. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Take care.